Hi, my name is Adam and this is talking details about my Ducati Monster 900S. Since I consider this product to be done, let me walk you through it and share some thoughts. For your convenience, I listed every part in the description box down below. Some of the auctions might have been deleted or changed, but I'm sure you still are going to be able to find it by yourself. Let me start with some historical background, like how I got the bike and why Ducati. Then we'll move to the mods and features. So for me it all started with a documentary called Twist the Throttle that I've seen on TV back in 2009. Since I watched the Ducati episode, I knew that's what I want. Beautiful Italian styling with perfect combination of power and sound. Since then, since I was 15 years old, I have dreamed of owning a Ducati motorcycle finally bought it almost 10 years later and finished exactly as I imagined in 4 more. I bought it back in 2017 from a Polish guy who wanted to buy his Mercedes in Switzerland. The Swiss guy was not really eager to lower the price and wanted some amount for the car, so the Polish guy from what he told me said, alright. I will pay what you want, but I see you also have this Ducati, so I am buying the car only if you add the bike to the deal. The guy agreed, and that's how this motorbike got from Switzerland to Poland. After that it was auctioned and I am the first owner in the country. One day of April 2017 I came across an auction whose subject was a 99 Monster S in almost showroom condition for its age. Mileage when bought was 32k kilometers, so little under 20k miles. It was all stock and nothing was modified. At the time, after I did some basic new ownership things and maintenance stuff like changing the chain, timing belts, oil and filters. I was really enjoying it, but also had in mind that a true Ducati, in my opinion, must have a visible dry clutch if it is equipped with it and Terminioni race exhaust. It needed a slight refresh to go with the times. So because the motorcycle is black in color, I have decided to go with the golden theme, as it's perfect for black. I've made golden anything possible, being oil and fluid caps, footrests, timing belt housing, front and rear fenders, quartz clock, handlebar ends, even letters on the tires for a little extra blink. These small details really add a lot of character and personality. On the left side of the engine you'll notice a black engine cap. Now the lighting. Beside the headlight, which remain original, everything is in LEDs. Floating indicators added a really cool modern touch to the bike and also engine runs smoother due to lower power consumption. Side note, speaking of electricity, for the best performance and reliability I can recommend AGM Motobat battery, as I found it the best overall in the long run. The 
The rear lamp has been factory tinted, which gives the bike a more sleek and stealthy look. Even bulbs in the gauges are LEDs, which improve the visibility while riding, especially in the full sun. Rims were straightened and with new Pirelli tires made it a big difference in the handling. Cherry on top are crown valve caps. Side note, this bike gives an impression of sitting in it rather than on it, which I found very cool. Moving on to the clutch. The housing and clutch sleeve cylinder are from CNC Racing, which is a well-known brand in the MotoGP. I've also installed a Duca bike pressure plate and springs, which work together to improve the performance and feel of the clutch. The Woman Tech black caps complete the look of the upgraded clutch system. I've also installed CNC racing frame plugs to add more gold. These are a small detail that really makes a big difference in the overall look of the motorcycle. The exhausts are carbon fiber oval terminiones, which are known for their excellent build and sound quality. When I bought them, they had no emblems, so I found the perfect ones in black gold finish on eBay. The store was called CC Racing Garage from Italy. The pipes have also been polished to really make them shine. After all of the mods, it became a true beauty and it happens quite a lot that people came up to me saying it's a very pretty bike. Some want to hear it, some want to take pictures with it. And they absolutely love it, you just can't see it in their eyes. So overall it gets a lot of compliments. It's definitely turning heads. That's pretty much it of what I had to say. Hope you enjoyed this tour of my 99 Ducati Monster. As you could see, it's been pretty fight to my liking and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. This motorcycle truly represents my passion for riding, being a Ducatista and my love for the brand and its heritage. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Watch my previous video on the bike that was partially used in this one. And to end this video well, I wanted to leave you with pure, unedited sound of the magical engine and even better exhausts. Thank you again and have a good one, till next time.